was kind of torn when I was asked to introduce Bernie because um, sort of kind of, I know Bernie has a lot of different friends. And if you know her, everybody's a best friend. <laughs> if you know her, you, there's a side of her that you're going to get and you know that it's going to be the best and you feel like you're the only one. But I know that I'm the only one. <laughs> um, I met Bernie when I moved to McLeanstown. I was nine years old. And if you look at me and you know me from McLeanstown, what y'all know? <laughs> I don't look like anybody from McLeanstown. I didn't look like anyone. Mm -hmm. And so um, moving there, going into a new school, I was like a stone's throw away from her house. And we became fast friends. And what I would call eventually, I would call my very best friend. Now listen. And the middle of that was always Carla. If you know Carla, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the other Carla was nice. Nice, nice. You know. Yeah. But um, one thing I always appreciated about Bernie, and people who know her at this stage of her life can attest to the fact that she's always been the same person. Um, we went to school in the plains town, and we had a voracious love for books. And she's always had that, always kept that. I don't know how her husband makes it. But um, that is something that bonded us. We liked the Nancy Drew, Bob uh, Melanie, and I need us reading notes and boom, and high 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 and and we were bonded by our love of books. and then we also always talked about the future, if you remember that. And we had a teacher up there, Miss Marshall. Uh -huh. Marshall. I always loved Miss Marshall, Which and she was... inspired me from that early age. That I was like, I wanted to be like her. Because I always remembered one word, and I always had a love for words. I did spelling bee. Did you do spelling bee, too? Yes, we did spelling bee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but one word I always remembered from her was enthusiasm. And we need to take that through our lives. Like, do what you're doing with enthusiasm. So I was kind of torn about writing something versus speaking from my heart. So I'm going to go between the two. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like I said, we shared our aspirations. And so we went to school in McLeanstown, and eventually we migrated from there. We went to high school, and we ended up in the same classes. We graduated together. We also, like I said, we all always had that aspiration to become teachers, but she went and um, she was able to feel, fulfill her dream first. And I was always comforted in our relationship that even though we had the distance, we were still what we were. You understand what I'm saying? And um, so she was a very nice and she would always um, write letters to me. And I, if, I, if I look carefully, I would still be able to find them in my house somewhere. Because I have things. I, listen here, my bag is still packed in the last day of school. When we come to school, buddy, don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. And so she was able to fulfill the dream before I was. But I eventually got there. So both of our, our dreams eventually came through. True, we became teachers. And um, back to when we were at home, one of the things I always appreciated was the home environment where that Bernie came from, even though at that time it was different from my own because I had friends and they weren't married, but at her home, it was always warm. Not just the food and the smell, but it was there was a warmth and love in there. And I always loved the, um, the way that her mommy was always welcoming to the point where it made me feel uncomfortable because I was like, I'm she's older than me, she's not my like cousin cousin, I can't call her. I didn't really know what to call her because I was like, I can't call her Bevy, you know, buddy man is calling her smart <laughs> dog. What are you supposed to call her? Funny. But I always loved her and one instance I always remember about her mom, only for me before you long, was um she had what they call a prep aunt before you know. Yeah. Everybody remember the prep aunt? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I remember I don't know if that was press service or that was the actual service. And she laid hands on me, and I was like, you know, that time I was like, you feel it's up, but you don't know exactly what it was. <laughs> and you lying on the ground, and she was asking me to describe what it is that I feel. And I always remember that experience, but I was like, I, I don't even exactly know what it was. But from those days, she was always speaking and praying. So when she wasn't praying for you, she was giving you food, and you could go to get your baggie and your, and, and your top. And so I always appreciated the environment from which she came as well. And so um, to come here today, to see her coming full circle, because this is what I know her to be for all her life. She's always been a person who likes words, who likes to read, who likes to journal. And so this is just a combination of just who she is. And so if you know her close enough, you will know back in the day, she probably had a bed full of what Grace Livingston LA. Huh? Yeah. Probably yeah. made her oh, bed. Okay. Yes, probably made her bed of that. Mm -hmm. And so I am um, humble today to be able to just speak about my friend from my heart. 
she's my children's body. I got a big man and a little girl, and she, she's their godparent, and she's been in my life, and we've had transitions. <laughs> and she could tell you when it was a wedding, I went to a wedding, and she, she go and get me to go down the aisle, and I fall, and I know this, this big girl. But you know what I mean? Because you know that the relationship changes. When, when someone gets married or they move away, whatever. And I think in that moment, I kind of felt like there was going to be a difference. But there was a difference, but it was not significant. If I give kind of sound saying, she went on to life, and I went on to life. So we just continued in our relationship. And so sometimes it would be months and months that we don't talk as much. But when we catch up, it's the same. And so that's when you know that something yeah. is real, yeah. long, and lasting. Yeah. And so I love you, Bernie. And I'm honored today to celebrate her.